Hello, everybody. Good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, depending on what time it is for you where you are. Happy Thursday. Welcome back. Kitty can you want you want the focus? You want this? Yeah. That's good. That's this stuff. Perk, thank you for the 62 month reso. Joyous evening. Good time zone to all. Good morning, ladies. You kitty. Hi. She was walking around to my desk and I had a water cup that was open and I thought, you know what? We're just not even going to try. <laughs> We're just going to put that away. I stashed it uh, 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 there um, on my shelf and then it's, I'm going to forget it there for like four days because I never check up there. <laughs> you want to come sit on my lap? That's a good spot for you. It's cute when you're on my desk, but you make it kind of dusty. <laughs> I have a very important question. Yes. Go ahead. It's Pine Fresh. Thanks for the 15 month reset. I'll send my water bottle still on the way, too. <laughs> Your hair is grown. Choose what raid I buy transmog from from Dragonflight. You're buying transmog now, my goodness. Um, Which had the best sets? Abra had some pretty good sets. Greetings. Riding the bus home from work, enjoying your stream. I have three bullets. Oh, I see, I see. <sighs> Don't care about you. Mm. I am uncomfortable making that choice for another person. <laughs> so today I want to continue transmog farming. I was looking on Wowhead trying to figure out if, um, I was looking on Wowhead trying to figure out if there was any news or progress on the, on the fixing the war bank thing. And what I discovered was I didn't see any headlines about that, but I did see one saying they disabled cross realm trading, which is the opposite direction of where I'm <laughs> looking for that to go. So I want more stuff, basically. I was farming this great sword from um, a dude out here in Antorus, and I'm probably going to leave some characters out here to, to continue working on that. But I do kind of want to can that for now, because it's not a farm that's helped in any way by the new transmog changes. And I was looking at like the realm leaderboards, and I was looking at my, a my ATT score, and I was like, you know what I want is more. So I want to, I, I still might, well, do I want to pick a raid? I probably, if I'm just looking for lots, I should I should pick something that offers lots. And because of the transmog collecting changes, I want to farm in instances. I want to farm in like a dungeon or a raid or all of the above. So what I guess I want to do is I want to figure out which dungeons and raids I can easily clear that I'm missing the most things from. And then let's just see if we can move this, this bar at all. So what I should do is I should write down, maybe with like a pen or something, um, where we started for today's stream. And it's a bit tricky because, watch your tail. It's a bit tricky because uh, I find that this number, even on the same character, sometimes moves within the same day, like not like like the total number. Um, so I'm not 100% sure we're gonna get an accurate count off this. I guess I can write on this. I printed off a recipe for yogurt waffles. I was trying to come up with new things to make. Um, just like higher protein waffles. What was I saying? All right, so we're starting at 61.64% which is 64,924 and that is a count mode. That is not character specific. That is not pre-stuff. That's everything. So, what dungeon where am I going is the question. I was like looking through just the general all the things being like, "What am I missing stuff from?" Well, how come I only have half of the things from expansion features? What does that mean? Why am I missing 5,000 things? And I'm like, well, I'm missing everything from the front, more or less. Um, <laughs> we have lots of stuff from mob. That's important. What about this? Legion expansion features. Is it artifact appearances? Oh, it's artifact appearances. Stinky. What about BFA? What's going on over here? Where am I missing? Island expeditions. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there would be some mock missing from there. I did all the mounts and pets. Were there pets? I did all the mounts from Island Expeditions, but it makes sense to me that I stopped before I got all of the transmog because there was a lot of it and it was very expensive. Don't ignore the cat. Beth the cat. Hi. Um, she's here. We're, we do this every day. This is my kitty. Hello. Hi. What's a pen? I want staves, bow, and a one-handed sword. Decided to start my farm in Wad because I heard it gives good gold. Hmm. Outdoor zones. I want to centralize all my gold into my war bag, and they need to they need to they need to fix it. I'm sure they're working on it. Um, okie dokie. So or no, outdoor zones. Dungeons and raids. 
So I'm looking for older dungeons and raids and I'm missing lots of stuff from. So it looks like TBC, actually. Even classic, there's still like 500 things missing there, but TBC. What are we saying? Karazhan? I have like half of the stuff from old Karazhan. Yeah, I need lots of stuff from old Karazhan. Should we go? <laughs> Should we do it? Let's go, let's go have a little look-see. I didn't see if I even remember anything about, um... Wasn't there, wouldn't there be a Karazhan portal? Wouldn't there be a Karazhan portal? Not necessarily here. There was one? I mean, I guess I could just go through Stormwind, honestly. <laughs> so, let's do that. Hmm. bothers me to no end that you can't remove trading posts from the list. Yeah, it's a little bit unfair. I uh, made it official yesterday. I will also be mating a gnome shadow priest for the world within. Ha <laughs> ha, shadow priest gag. <sighs> all right. Um, oh, I thought I was porting. I didn't. <laughs> this is what I get for trying to click my button myself instead of going on all the things. I do still want this sword. I guess I should um, turn it off for now. But I want to... I want quantity right now. I want just more things. I want to see if I can climb a leaderboard spot. I want to see if I can make it from 11th on my realm according to Data for Azeroth to 10th, you know, like let's, let's keep our expectations reasonable. Let's uh, moderate it. Apparently they unnerfed the raw gold farms of old raids. Stuff in Wad gives like 25 to 60 gold. Really? Do we think they did it on purpose? <laughs> Is this like something that's here to stay or are we talking like an oopsie kind of situation? <laughs> oh my goodness. Might have to team farm earlier than I thought then. Who knows what's intended this pre-patch. Yeah, for real. I still can't believe that we got that pair of um, white quality boots from the Northern Barons yesterday. There's literally a whole set. Even if I was going to randomly get like a white item to drop, it could have been any piece I'm pretty sure. The Gen, thank you for the 10 month free sub. Woohoo! Next few days, they got more important stuff to fix. Keep the Legion Violet Seal in my bag so I can easily port to Kara for farming. I swear I had an easier way to get out here, but I guess I must not have done. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. Um, back when we were farming. Also. Back when we were farming. We have sound. You guys have sound. I don't have any sound. I guess I don't need it. It's just spooky in acapella. Oh, also, I'm missing sub alerts. There was Wolf Cloud Chaser with an 18 month resub as well. A year and a half, holy smokes. Um, back when I was farming Legion Karazhan for, when I was farming Legion Karazhan for the mount, I just uh, set all my characters to um, live in in Duskwood, like in Darkshire. They had their hearthstones in Darkshire. So I need to make sure I go in the correct entrance. I haven't been in Kara since like Jennifer, I'm pretty sure. Um, is difficulty a thing? This is such an old raid. I don't even know if it matters. It might just be the raid. <laughs> this is what it is. Raid difficulty. Let's just make them... Make it... Let's just go in. Tess Urzaba, thank you for the 38-month resub. Appreciate it, Tess. Yeah, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to Stormwind. Okay. And then, uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna be a little bit of a... Little bit of a lost mess in here, and that's okay. <laughs> Who says that we need to remember where we're going? We just want to do as, as many things as possible. It looks like from this this raid, there are lots lots of stuff that we can get. Lots of bracers, oddly enough. Old Kara only had 10 man, no difficulty. Okay. Well, I guess it is what it is. I don't know if it's going to give me that much, um, that many epics, but it should, it should be something. I used to farm this raid for, what, for pets or something like that? I mean, I guess there was a mount from here as well. Um, I farmed that one some time ago. Ho oh, ho, I got two new things. I need to have, um, I want to have a, I don't know. I wish it would show up on stream when I, when I earn things, but I don't really want to show chat. Just in case I, uh, haven't, uh, haven't fixed something. Oh, also, I should probably clear out some peck space because, uh, Otherwise, we're gonna we're gonna get in trouble here. That thing needs to be broken down into fragments, and then I don't even think I properly cleared out my bags after the dungeons we ran we ran last time. I'm just gonna vendor these. I don't need these things at all. Awakened. Well, I guess I should hold on to the molten heart. For what? I don't know. <laughs> For something. 
<clears throat> Long last, finally free from old war. Got Mim's head the night before the pre-patch. Congratulations. Seeing it skyride is hilarious. Said I can't have a full black transmog with a bright blue staff. Just thought Kara was one of the easiest instances to get to. Yeah, it's not, it's not bad. Um, so there's a loop. It's one of the easiest ones for me to get lost in. And I ran, I guess I ran Legion Kara's end. I don't know if the layout is meaningfully different. Could be. <laughs> but even in Legion Kara, which we ran like, what, 400 and something times, I was still uh, all over the place. I would get, I would still get lost. Mr. Legion Karazen era. We were in this in that dungeon farming for midnight for like a year. Like an it felt like an actual year. Okay, so those stairs are where I came from. And then this is where I've been. <laughs> Can it make me look? Uh Yeah, wildly lost. That's fine. We're just gonna we're just gonna make it work. <sighs> Brute forced and all my else got on my fifth run of the night. Nice. Congratulations! You're uh, on your way to, to writing a cute little poem. Twas the night before pre-patch, and Mimiron's head decided to leave Mimiron's shoulders behind. Mm. I wonder why my sound's not, not working. My dog was in here last night, and he was kind of poking around at the cables under my desk, and I feel like I don't think he unplugged anything important. The light is on. My Bluetooth receiver says it's connected. I just don't hear anything. What if it's just really quiet? Oh, it was it was quiet. There it is. There we go. We're in business. <laughs> Miss Legion Care in general, that was such a great instance. <sighs> I'm kind of divided on opera. Opera was kind of stressful when we were doing it in keys. You got in the last day of 2020 and your last possible character. It was the New Year's Eve stream, which was kind of crazy after having tried it for the whole year. You can't plan stuff like that. All right, Moroz, there's three items that he could give me and he has given me one of them. We got a Crimson Girdle of the Indomitable. Not too bad. Remember it vividly. Don't know why. Some of the trash pulls were very stressful. Remember when it was Mythic Plus and you weren't allowed to use AOE in the room after opera because it would pull mobs through the floor and wipe your key. I was, I, I had certain buttons that I had to be like, okay, hands off the keyboard. Don't press this one. That's going to be a problem. Did that a couple of times. It's just so like unfair. It's crazy that that, that went in like that. Takes me back. I also suppose it wouldn't hurt to get, um, there's probably some like white and greens and stuff. I got a mongoose solution. I knew, I knew that one already. Uh, in Cersic. Thank you for the eight-month reset. Not knowing until 50 fancy people rush into the room. Uh, ballroom this way. Yeah, something like that. Miss the days of who broke CC? Didn't Halo pull mobs back then too? I don't remember. I don't even remember what season we did it as a key. Because it wasn't... I mean, maybe it was during Legion. But it was, again, more recently than that. Might have been Shadowlands sometime. I don't know. He's like, what are you farming? Right now, quantity. I want as many things as I can get out of this uh, out of this run. So I'm basically just looking for a full clear. I'm trying to sneak up my my realm ranking on Data for Azeroth, which means that I need to earn somewhere. I mean, and I, I guess it won't reflect right away because I don't think it updates that often. But um, I need to earn somewhere in the neighborhood of like 150 appearances. Item. Unique, unique item IDs anyways. So, whites count, grays count, basically anything, like something like this, that is uh, collected already. Like I know that appearance, but I collected it from a different item. Um, if I add that to my Warband appearance collection, that's going to, that's going to count as an appearance just as well as like a brand new one, at least in terms of data for Azeroth. So I want to keep an eye out for those, those filled check marks in my bag as noted by all the things so that I can make sure I am keeping keeping up with that. How do you feel about the talent changes? I probably won't quite come to grips with them until we get like into our first season. I think in September when we're starting when we're starting the raid and whatnot, that's probably when I'm 
when I'm gonna actually figure out <laughs> what I'm doing and what I like. But I pretty much just take talent builds off Wowhead. I'm, I'm not really theory crafting. So I don't usually notice changes unless they end up in the recommended build. And even then, sometimes I don't always know what's doing the things that I'm doing. I got some leather gloves I didn't have before. Mitts of the Tree Mender. Okay, does it make it time to do Opera Hall? Uh, Dragonflight Reputations. I can see mine in my reps panel here. Whoa, oopsies. Didn't mean to hit Narcissus. Um, if I click by a Dragon Elf Summary. No, I'm, it's, it shows them. They look good. They're all there. They're uh, combined now because this character definitely did not have them before. Feel there's too many abilities. Mm. I um, think it's gotten better than it has been. There's a lot more passive options that you can take now. At least it feels that that way to me. And I think um, hero talents are going to be kind of similar where there are lots of passive options where if you don't want to complicate your life too much, there are hero talents that you can choose that are just kind of augmenting the things that you're already doing with like a cool little bit of visual flair. Hi. Hi. Did a currency transfer yesterday? Enjoyed the visibility across characters. I haven't been brave enough to try a currency transfer yet. I don't even know what currency I want to transfer. Maybe time warped badges. It might be kind of nice to centralize time warped badges. Dungeons and raids. Click to view options. So if I go transfer. Oh. So it'll show me how many I have across all of my all of my characters. Interesting. Yeah, I'm too, I'm, too, I'm too scared to do that right now. <laughs> Absolutely not. Enjoy your last video. Thanks, Steve. Got the farm bug. I want to get as much new stuff as I possibly can this week. I'm, uh, I want to get my score caught up. I feel like I've been slacking. I've just been kind of getting things when it's convenient, and I want to really <laughs> put, a, at least for a little bit, for a couple of weeks, put some effort in. Give it some welly, you know? That's that's a thing people say. I don't quite know what they mean as far as I know a welly is a gumboot, but, you know, give it a gumboot. <laughs> I'll convince people you, you mean business. I'm not meant to be down here, am I? <laughs> I need to go back upstairs, don't mind me. At least we're getting, like, gray item IDs from trash, you know? It's not like a total waste. Uh, so we did those ones already, good. Hmm. <laughs> kind of play similar love collecting started how often do you do raids still have not done a raid i have a i'm a member of a raiding guild that does weekly weekly twice weekly raid nights so we we raid two nights a week during the season right now it's off season like we kind of finish the raid for now so we're on hiatus until the next one comes out but then we'll be doing it two nights a week for three hours a night I like it a lot, but I don't think I would like it if I didn't have a steady group of people to play with. I am having a struggle. I know I need to be up higher. I don't recall how to get up there. I think I just need to back it up even more. Or maybe there's like stairs on the side. Is there stairs over here? It kind of looks on the map like there might be. There's something over here. <laughs> maybe this will help me. Um, let me see if I can run an update for Can I Mog It? I don't think I ran updates this morning. There, yeah, there's some updates. Excellent. Thank you. Jump down the theater. I don't know what that means. Reload. <laughs> Hazel and chat. Sub saga. Uh, app on the left top. Is that what you go by to farm with? It's one of the ways that I keep track of my collections. Um, right now, the mini... Well, right now it's a loading screen. But the mini list I have pulled up is showing me the appearances that could drop in this instance that I don't have yet. And which bosses they drop from. So it's kind of fun to see... Um, is this? Are we? I feel like I've done this backwards. Um, from any given boss, how many different things could be? That add-on is called All the Things. My main season three gear can be greatly upgraded just by running the yellow far wings. <laughs> I'm pr I'm like fairly certain I did this backwards, but it's fine. Oh, I got a I got a trash epic. I got a BOP trash epic cape that I didn't have. That's something. <laughs> You know what I could do? If we make sure we have our whisper blocker on just to kind of <laughs> be extra safe. I could probably put my chat log on screen. Especially because we're in instances anyways. Uh, filter settings. We don't have say or anything. Okay.
Uh, just so that I want you guys to be able to see when I get the, the pink text is the best part. And I don't want to be the only one that can see that. Doing it correctly, new care is reversed for opera. Oh, that's mean. <laughs> that's, that's, a. Uh, yep. All right. Oh, hey, we found it. So opera. And I guess this is going to be kind of overlapping then. Uh, we can move this. We can move this. I swear I can move. <laughs> Boys! Well, it's only a little bit overlapping. Um, looks like opera can give me... Oh, it depends on which boss it is. There's actually only four items left. That's kind of surprising for all those bosses. There is an add-ons list. There it is. Not logged in, just thought it'd be funny. I have an add-on right now that blocks whispers um, from anybody that's not on my friends list. So it's a uh, strange, stranger whispers won't come, shouldn't come through with some of the add-ons working correctly. It might not be. Why? I, usually I can move this around and I don't know why I can't right now. I wonder if I put something, I wonder if it's because it's overlaid with the chat window actually. Uh, it shouldn't be overlaid with the whole thing though weird. Sounds like a useful ad. It, um, the only thing I don't like about it is that the auto reply tells the person who tried to whisper you that they don't meet the requirements to whisper this player, which I always felt sounded like really rude. <laughs> um, and you can edit it, but you'd have to go into like the Lua files to edit it. I've, uh, I've done that before, but I have done it in ages, so I'm pretty sure I just have the default reply now. Sure hope ARC inventory is getting updated soon. I miss it. Can't with normal bags after 18 years, Fark. Increase Hazel rep to honor before continuing. <sighs> yeah. I mean, even with people that are in my guild and on my friends list, like, I'm awful to try to get a hold of. I just don't look at messages. I don't really message people on the computer. <laughs> I talk to people. There we go. There's a. There, that's what I wanted to show is pink text when we get something. We got a great home. Um, I talk to people like in voice. Like I'll I'll do calls or I'll like hang out in Discord if we're like doing dungeons or something. Um, or I'll but I or I'll like try to visit people in person if if we're talking like actual family. But like text, nah, can't do it. <sighs> what would be the reward for Hazel Rip? Hmm. All right. My bags are gonna fill up. I underestimated how much stuff was gonna be in here. I thought I had big old clean bags and nothing could possibly fill them all away, but I might end up. There is, there are NPCs I think that will buy stuff from you. Sweet plushie. Some of my plushies are a little more frazzled looking than they used to be because uh, when Moose was in here last night, he kept like, he knows they're not his toys. So for the most part, he won't take them. But he's he does that like, thing that dogs and sometimes people do where they're like trying to figure out where the line the line is so he's like well what happens if i just lick it am i allowed to not pick it up but just give it a big old <laughs> so some of them are kind of damp some of them have had their fur uh rather <laughs> rather groomed good morning hey so look at the morning captain lemons mild traumatic looking experience yeah he is specifically like the frost wolf snow cub I don't know if he recognized it as a dog adjacent shape or not, but uh, it's uh, it's looking a little more grimy than it used to. They have hair, they now have cow legs, right? Ever done the chess boss in old care? Can't beat it. I used to do it. Um, I've probably forgotten everything I ever knew about doing it, though. I used to have like a pattern for it or a method. I don't remember. I'm, I'm going to get there later and it's going <laughs> to be... It's not going to be embarrassing. No one's going to judge me if I don't remember. It's reasonable. Level 24, leveling in the Inarn Plains. Oh, that's so weird. I know that's how it is now, but that's so weird. Oh, Captain Lemons, thank you for the three month reso. Video on how to do it still takes some luck. I used to, here, let me get my, um, I used to have an article.
may or may not be already halfway through. Oh. Oh, we can mount here. Perfect. Okay, I can uh, I can I can clear clean up my bags here because we have some uh, we have some catching up to do. I'm not gonna worry about trying to like sell any of these things. I don't think. Although sometimes I do like to, um, especially if it's like there's a transmog piece and maybe it's worth like 400 gold and it vendors for like five gold. Sometimes I like to, especially because I have a Brutosaur. <laughs> sometimes I like to stick it in the auction house for like 10 gold or like 15 gold. Um, just to see if anybody wants it. <laughs> you know, it's, uh, if, if the mod's worth, like, three gold, it's really not worth it. But anything that's kind of, like, over, like, a hundred, you know, like, maybe somebody doesn't have that appearance yet. Maybe they want it for dirt cheap. It's possible. Things, things happen. I've bound that one myself already. <laughs> just in cases, you know. Transferring Dark Moon tickets is amazing. Find an equipment. Yes, yeah, so, so that one is like a... Because otherwise I'm just vendoring it, right? So if I was going to get 12 gold anyways. Um, let's call it 50. I was going to say 50 bucks. 50 gold. <laughs> 50 big ones. Anything Anything else? 300. Let's call it like 11. And then those are worth 1600. So let's call it like 45. <laughs> Hopefully we can move some of those things. Because I was literally just going to vendor them anyways. And this is why transmog sellers hate me. <laughs> Here's a good headline for a video. Any, listen, I'm not doing it to grief them. You know, I'm not... I can't help how they feel. <laughs> if they want... they it's I'm just giving them free inventory. If they want to buy it, they can. And they can add it to their own their own stock. It's a great flip. You buy something for 50 gold, you sell it for 1,600. You just have to have more patience than me. Um, also, I'm pretty sure I got turned around and started running backwards. Well, who's to say? You can transfer tickets? Could maybe get the dirigible. Tickets everywhere. Desk drawers, cup holders, etc. The grief is just baked in. Nothing to be done. Listen, the sooner we, we release ourselves from how other people feel. <laughs> um, I am going to be lucky if I make it to the end of this instance. If I skip any bosses, then it's just going to have to be what it is. <laughs> I don't really know my way around here and I don't have the, um, I don't have the brain noodles to make it work today. I don't know. I think like, I don't, I don't think it's fair to say I'm griefing sellers. Like, if you had concert tickets, and then you decided you couldn't go, and then you sold those tickets for, like, ticket price, are you griefing scalpers? <laughs> you're, you're undercutting their business model. Right? Like, it's, <laughs> you can't, it's not, it's not, it's not your fault. Past day or so has been great for mog selling. People buying tons now, they don't have to switch characters to browse. <sighs> it's going to be even better once people can actually, like, move their gold easily across server. All fair, love, war, auction house. Yeah, if they don't like it, they can buy it. <laughs> and sometimes they do. Sometimes they absolutely do. Mm. If they want, they could even buy it and then vendor it themselves. Since guilds are cross-realm, does that mean guild crafting orders are too? That's a good question. Dupin's been going crazy. Oh. I thought that, um, I thought that because they turned off the war bank that they were on top of that, but maybe there's other stuff going on. I got a Grim Scythe. Is that an appearance I had already? Ooh, Bloodfist. Yeah. Let's add that to the collection. What do we get here? Anything? No, nothing from, nothing from that. Although, maybe I could, like, they're tier items, right? So what if we right-click them? Nothing? No. Okay. <sighs> um, anything else we need to add? Man, that kind of mock update's awesome. <laughs> I'm just kind of scanning, looking for the the filled the filled icons. There was another one. That's why no cross realm trading. Oh, <laughs> uh oh, are you a shadow priest? Right now I am. I've been meaning holy priest for the past two expansions. In the war within, I'm planning to try to go 50 50, which I feel like is a mistake. I feel like I should just pick something and commit to it. And like be like this XYZ is my main spec and then the other one is my off spec. 
I don't remember how you kill these things. Oh, you have to melee them. That's right. They need physical damage. I forgot. <laughs> Gross. That's right. Let's maybe try and avoid some of those then. Love carries in Mythic Plus so much. Um, can Amogit got an update just to to help it update the icons in real time without needing reloads when you learn something. Another reason not to do this is Priest. Oh, class specific gear still has to be unlocked by that specific class, which is sad, I Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's okay, I think. I'll take I'll take anything I can get. Ooh, a bagel. I don't know why, but Bladesfire bagels are the thing that I always see, and I'm like, I bet my character's never eaten that before. They should eat that for that achievement. And then I do. But I only ever think of it with Bladesfire bagels, which means that all of my characters must have eaten them by now. <laughs> And I probably have that achievement, if, or if not, I'm not any closer to getting it. There's, like, some achievement for, like, eating a unique amount of foods. It's, like, one of the random ones. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I don't even know how to check if I have it. But you know what I mean? Whenever whenever I have, like, just a random piece of, like, old world food or drink, I'm like, I should probably consume that just in case I need it for this achievement that I probably had for ten years. Wonder what happened to make BFA and Shadowland stuff harder before pre-patch. Uh, all the things has Mog, Toys... Here, I'll show you my settings. Options, add-ons, all the things, general. So these are the things that I'm tracking. So I am not tracking heirlooms. I'm not currently tracking source ID. If I trip on them, that's great. But if I, I'm not, I'm not going out of my way right now. But toys, pets, mounts, illusions, and appearances... I am not tracking achievements, any of the general things. Achievements, flight paths, quests, recipes. Not worried about any of that. Um. Oh, you can uncheck PvP. That's kind of cool. And I'm not worried about, like, manuscripts or rune carving powers or, like, the f expansion stuff. But, like, the, the main account-wide things, I'm doing most of them. And there's no, like, right or wrong answer there. All of that is definitely... Definitely personal preference. Wasn't there a way to get to a boss over here? Or am I thinking of the next room? Isn't there something I can click on to get to the thing? Explore everywhere. Wow. Uh, or is it in another room? It might be in another room. But there's the satyr boss, right? Oh, maybe he's in this room. Next room. Gotcha. How did you decide who was going to be in your login camp? Did my main three oldest characters is the old guard? I haven't really, like, picked yet. My main's there. And then the other characters are just the characters that happen to be at the top of the list because I haven't... Oh, I see. That's not subtle at all. Um, I haven't really... I don't know. I, I was talking about it before the pre-patch came out, but I haven't, like, picked. Next. Because oh. <sighs> I got to figure out... I don't know what I'm doing in the world. Like, I know what I want to do, but I want to make sure I don't pick, bite off more than I can chew, basically. Does this guy have anything for me? I think I actually have everything from him. Maybe I don't need to fight him anymore. Oh, no, never mind. I sure did. I needed that leather belt. Also, there's there's the fiendish imp. Where was he? Wow, lots of stuff from the, last, the later bosses. Don't mind me. Getting turned around. Shade of... No. Oh, I do. Okay, yeah, I need one more mail belt from him. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yeah, login scene is cross-faction. You can have any faction. You can also have characters from different realms on it, as far as I know. Kinda neat. Don't even know how you do Nightbane in Old Kara? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't even remember how to do Nightbane in New Character. Something about fire? Listen. We don't got enough we don't got enough disk storage in this brain to keep trivia like that. This game's too big. Alright, we're hoping for Rapscallion boots or Mantle of the Mind Flayer, or both. Darn it, neither of those things. I had those already. I think there's a vendor coming up again. Transfer the artifacts for digs? Doing world quests, help me buy one quicker. Oh, ooh, whoa! Oh, hold on, currency, dragon flight. <laughs> oh no, 
They don't have any. I don't have any. I uh, I guess I haven't been doing any of that on other characters. I'm pretty sure I did it on one character, but I got I guess I got exactly enough to buy the thing that I needed and then bought them. Or maybe it, they're, they're, you just can't transfer them in like super small increments. Is your brain brain on floppy CD HDD or SSD storage? Imagine that there's just a CD-ROM player up here, and every time I like move my head too fast, it skips. <laughs> that would that would check out. Hmm. Like to start mog farming, only one classic character. Should I work on learning and leveling new classes for those mogs too? Now that we have pre-patch, you basically don't need to. Um, the only thing that you would need another class for is to get Mog that is only for that class. So if you only play one character, or one class of character, there's really not a huge incentive to do that. Um, and you can make your collection numbers go up pretty good just by, by running any content that you want. And you'll be able to learn all the armor type stuff now. So there's an up and a down. There was an up and a down. I'm gonna go down first. I don't... It's kind of... Is it coming back to me? I don't know if it's coming back to me. <laughs> Raid finder. Very easy to get mod and gold from. Speed druid is a must now. <sighs> yeah, you don't need to have played a given armor type um, in order to learn the mog. But class specific mog must be picked up on, on that class. So you're not going to get mage mog unless... Like mage tier unless you're on a mage. So this is the gamesman's hall door. There's the vendor I was thinking of. Oh, so up, this is the way forward. Upstairs is the... All right, hang on, hold up. Actually, I want to see something. So these Skeetus Spalders, I need to collect them. If I just vendor them as a green without doing anything, it does add it. Okay, so I don't need to worry about specifically adding all those things to my warband as long as I was going to vendor them anyways. I was pretty sure that was the case, but it wasn't showing quite properly yesterday, so I was a bit concerned. Uh, I don't want those. And I don't need these. That's not really worth anything. Those are worth a little bit. Somebody might want the, the motes of mana. <laughs> Snowballs. Scroll of strength. Get out of here. Okay, so we'll we'll come back to this. I need to go, because upstairs, I guess, is going to be the dragon then. TBC Wrath Rep Vendors, buy all the gear. Cataclysm ones as well, yeah, in um, Stormwind or Orgrimmar. There's like Fireland set recolors if you haven't finished getting those. Compelling argument for making speed trades. I just don't want people to feel like that's the only thing to do, you know? There's nothing that says you can't farm without them. You're still going to get transmog. Not everybody wants to game that hard. It's, it's alright to farm without doing things perfectly. You can still get quite a respectable collection. Don't get me wrong, speed druids are fun, um, and I might end up messing around with one again. There we go. So Nether Spite's got tons of stuff that I could get. Hello, excuse me. I used to get uh, eggs from this, like the rep eggs. Might still drop them. We got Skulker's Greaves and another wing egg. I suppose I'll just delete that. I have that rep already. Don't use adults. Having fun? Not knowing. Hmm. Are they cool? They're new. A pair of leather boots. This is going to be so nice for making transmogs on all those classes that aren't clothies. Because <laughs> I have mogs I can wear in my druid, but they're pretty much just PvP sets. I kind of don't have anything else. Alright, pray for me in chess. Your chess guide solo. I don't want a video. I used to do this. I used to do this all the time. Fun going around in my professional to get the knowledge packs from hitting certain renown levels. All my characters have max renowns with dragonflight reps. Oh, that's a good point. Okay, I am Alliance. Hello. We must defeat. We must defeat the chess. 
there was like a thing. I used to, I mean, I'm not going to remember. I don't even think I have the, because I had an article. I don't want a video. and then get out of him. Actually, I don't know if I started it. And then you're supposed to just like move up a few pawns. Eventually, I'm pretty sure that you get I'm winging it and it might not go well. You get on like a caster and you just start nuking. What in the world of Warcraft is this? This is the chess event from Legion Karazhan. Or not Legion, pardon me, Burning Crusade Karazhan. This is the chess event from TBC Karazhan. It's really old. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> and I don't really remember. All right, they're gonna let me on this one now. Um, can I reach anything important? To an orc piece. I guess none of them are in range. Oh, that one's in range. Greatest gameplay of all time, you mean? I only go in there for the mount now. Alright, so this... And then you want to, like, keep an eye on your health. Your king's health. Because if they die, then you're out of luck. Um, I think usually I just make room, get on a caster, and try to nuke their caster and then their pieces. I also try to move out of um, the fire, so when they put the fire down, I try to get out of it and then get my king out of it as well. So that's, I think, one reason why you, like, move up. I don't know. I don't really know why. Maybe I'm not clicking on the right guy. It's not always letting me get into the into the right things. And then you can, yeah, you go nuts. <laughs> I might not be able to do this. We're just gonna have to do our best here. So there's a necrolite. Kind of have nobody in front of the king right now. Can I maybe move them? Um... <laughs> there's a five second debuff. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. That's very helpful. Thank you. Heal him. Yeah, you go nuts. One day. <laughs> Plus we'll have to skip this boss. I need loot from it though. I need loot. Alright, get out of the fire please. If you could just scooch over this way. Thank you very much. Um, and then maybe like... I can't change the way he's facing. I can uh, heroism. That's something. Uh, Black hand is still at full health, but I think we've got more pieces than they do. So I think we're probably okay. Here, face this way. Oh, for heaven's sake. Here, go hide. <laughs> Get out of there. Loved writing here with my guild. Started playing in TBC. Got some good memories. What are you doing? Um, I want to make sure that I'm winning. 
I might need to, uh, here, you, you keep doing that. I might go cast, cast a heal on my own king. Stoppable force just dropped. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. The facing, the pieces facing thing seems so silly to me. Although my heal is like really overpowered, so we just topped him. And then I guess we may as well move you, because we've got that up anyway. Black hand is back up. We should probably finish off this necrolite. So let's get King Lane out of the fire. The extra L's in his name really make me want to call him something else. And then we're just going to see if we can work on that guy. I don't think... I think now that, now that that other stuff is dead, I don't think there's a lot that's going to threaten lane here, so... My conjurer is almost dead, though, and my... Well, I've got another cleric. If I can save... No! <laughs> That's not what I meant to do! Alright, well, heal him. And then, um... Well, this is awkward. The necrolite is still there. I need to finish that off. I'm... Let's try using a water alley. They do stuff, too. <laughs> You've got a... Probably not close enough. Uh, I need the movable option to complete the collection. This guy's gotta go. He's gotta go. Alright. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> I don't know how long I was there for, but it feels like it's been years. I think I'm old now. Might be worse than Galakras. You went! Alright, we want any any number of these one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight things. Please! Alright, we got one of them. We got bladed shoulder pads of the merciless. Are they cool? Yeah, they're not uncool. They'd be kind of neat on a rogue. And, better yet, we can uh, move on. Um, it, yeah, it plays, it follows vague chess rules. The pieces move in this, the pieces are allowed to move in the same ways that chess pieces are, as far as I know. Have I gone backwards? I might have gone backwards. Def def yeah, definitely worse than Galagras. It's still a little at least. Uh, they don't have the same movement. Okay, never mind then. Don't listen to me. <laughs> I don't know anything. I'm just here with a cat. I'm, su I'm surprised I even got through the darn thing. They let me move the horsey in the little L shape. That was something, right? Kitty cat, you leave it? Oh. I have a feeling we're not gonna repeatedly run this instance. So this is Malchazar. So this is the end, so I've skipped one, haven't I? Oh no, maybe not. Chess event straight to Malchazar. There's a few things I could use from here, but um, I'm pretty sure I have... Like the tier items don't really do me a lot of good. Oh no, they're bind to warband actually. Let me, let me, let me see. So, thank you. <laughs> I remember trying to get this guy to drop me his battle pet. So we get a Helm of the Fallen Hero. It is a Hunter Mage Warlock piece, but the token binds to Warband. So I can see that I need a Hunter Helmet. Ideally, I would put it in my Warbank and then pick it up on my Hunter. For the moment. Um, I also apparently need Mage and Warlock stuff. But for the moment... <laughs> Not so much an option. So I'm just going to mail it directly to 
one of my one of my characters that can learn it. Do you get the guy behind the bookcase? Yeah! Always forget about him. I had a chess game as a kid called Battle Chess. Whenever you took a piece, it killed the other piece in what I can only describe as Mortal Kombat fatalities. Oh, like a computer game. <laughs> For a moment I'm like, how did they manage that? How does that work? What do you mean? Were they like little robots? Robot chess? I'm looking for one of my hunters, and I want to send them that tier helm. And then when I log on to my hunter, I should be able to learn it. Played a lot of chess in that time. I think I gave up on chess once I realized that I wasn't immediately gifted. Because <laughs> I was kind of a diva just as a child. We've definitely grown out of it. And, <laughs> and I was like, listen, if I can't be a prodigy, then what's the point? Getting to see every fatality was very fun. The thing I didn't understand is that there's quite a few prodigies that don't just instantly know how to play chess. They, like, spend a lot of their childhood doing it. We are looking for a mailbox. Why am I in... Oh, that's right. That's right. I remember why. Also, my action bars keep turning off again. Excuse me. Why do I- oh, I have two- I was like, why do I have two charges in my hearthstone? I'm a human. That's my new racial. Stamp whistle. Eh, I'd rather get her out of here anyway. <laughs> I literally moved her out there yesterday, too. Well, that's kind of nice that, like, maybe you don't- maybe I can't. Anything that with a tier token, you still can collect tier further classes. You just have to send it over, like move it with your war bank. Hang on a second. I thought I needed that. I guess I didn't. <laughs> Oops. I could have sworn when I was looking at all the things that it said that I needed that uh, trench one. Afternoon from New Jersey. Jess and I love your streams and game info. Well, thank you. That will replace the rep bonus. Yeah, I think it's kind of neat. All right, how many pieces did I get from that? That's the question. Maybe needed the PvP version. That might be it. Weird. Human main does not have charges. Used it four times yesterday without cooldown. That's a bug. Weird. Man, this is a... This pre-patch has been quite the wild ride. Um, The fiendish imp. Is that worth anything at all? Anymore? Let me see. Undermine exchange. Fiendish imp. So the pet, there are none on this realm. Generally, they're worth between like 2k and 10k. So yeah, I could probably try and sell it. Pet journal. Tokens for TBC can be traded in for PvP versions of the tier. Oh, I wonder if that's what I needed to do then. That's that's wonky. So let's say like 250 gold. I would take 250 for it. <laughs> There's a collector out there that's going to give him a good home. Oh, hang on. I wanted to sell those months of mana too. We need all the gold we can get. Well... We can spend as much gold as we can get. <laughs> I'll find something to do with it. Uh, playing since so far. Any advice how I can get up to par before the next expansion drops? Uh, you're all set. Next week, there will be a pre-patch event that will offer some catch-up gear. But if you start playing when the expansion comes out, you'll be on the same, same playing field as everybody. Um, I guess having a character that's level 70 would be good. So if you can get something leveled to 70 before before uh, end of August, then you're in good shape. You could do that in Remix or you could do it in regular WoW. Both are both are fine options. Um, doing it in regular WoW will get let you play more of the pre-patch before the expansion comes out. I'm going to take a short break and then I'm going to pick a new instance and see how much stuff we can get from it. BRB.
All right, let's pick a new place to go. Also, if I look at my general list, did our number go up? We started at, check my waffle recipe, 64,924. We're up to 939, 61.65%. We went up a 0.01%, that's something. Are there any classic raids that I'm missing like a ton of stuff from? Molten Core. Oh, but a lot of the Molten Core stuff is, is tier that drops as tier and not as tokens. Does all of classic work like that? I think it might. Do I want it? Is it worth bothering? Anixia's Lair. Uh, this add-on is called All the Things. It will ruin your life. <laughs> Blackwing Lair. Ooh, Temple of Aki. There is a lot of stuff in there. Got the right binding of the Windseeker recently. Oh, it's so hard to pick where to go. I guess I could roll a random dungeon or raid. I want to roll a random one that's basically any dungeon or raid from Classic up until, like, BFA. Um, what are you thinking of mating? My priest! I'm gonna be a- I'm gonna be a gnome priest. Holy, maybe shadow. Tier 1 and Tier 2 raids is the tier sets won't count. Yeah! Kind of annoying. But it is still- I mean, there's still something to be had there. Kid, are you sure you want to leave? Okay. Suit yourself. Um, I haven't really changed any settings for all the things since Warbands. I like to keep a count mode on a keybind so I can toggle it back and forth. Um, so I can see what like my character has versus what my account has just by- it takes like a second to process, but I like keeping that in a keybind um, as opposed to having it like perma on or off. Uh, nah, you don't need to update the command, it's fine. I am looking to, oh, I gotta pick something. What happens, can I? Instance, select a random instance. <laughs> the Battle of Mount Hygel, all right. Well, geez. <laughs> I was thinking, like, man, I hope I get something that doesn't have anything that's, like, kind of annoying to run, like, you know, uh, hairs and chest. That was, that was a little bit slow. Hopefully we get something we can sprint right through. Battle for Mount Hydra. All right, all right, I'm going. <laughs> Apparently I only have, like, a little over a third of the loot from there, so... Um, there's certainly lots of things we can get. <laughs> what do you think of Dragonflight overall? Comparison to other x -Packs. I liked it a lot. I like every x -Pack while I'm playing it. I'm useless for these kinds of comparisons. I'm happy always. <laughs> and if I'm ever unhappy, it's my own fault and it has nothing to do with the game. I'm going to the Caverns of Time. That's right. Yes, that instance is in the Caverns of Time. How do you get it to pick a random instance? Uh, all the things random, change the search filter, and then go for instances. There was nothing stopping it from giving me like a instance that was too hard for me to solo though, so my plan was just to kind of re-roll it. Find it odd that they made the decision to make some achievements character specific. Surely you've done it on one character, you've done it. Yeah, I don't know how they how they figure that out. Man. Dragon dragon riding on a nether ray. This is this is the stuff. This is the life. It's so forgotten. Picks things that you have a slow percentage on slightly more often. Things that you find annoying and avoid. Uh, battle for Mount Hygel. Thank goodness they labeled these, eh? <laughs> I know they labeled them a while ago, but I am not quite... I'm not real good at... I'm not real good at remembering these ones. Oh. Hi. Hi, sweetie. You guys can't see, but I've got a real cute little kitty here. Hi. Okay. So, that got us in here. Oh, for, for crying out loud. It's going to be a lot of class stuff. I mean, there are there are items that aren't just the class things. There is there is more to it. Do I even remember where I'm going? Portals. Scale of the sands. Imagine picking a dungeon with an escort section. me. Eleven more remix weapons. Are we good? No, I went the wrong way. 
<laughs> I saw two portals and I gambled and I lost. Darn hold right. Uh, try this one. Because those ones are locked. <laughs> Heaven forbid it makes sense, right? There we go. Now we're now we're talking. Oh man, I haven't done this in a while. I used to do these to get pets and transmog to sell. Because these pets used to still kind of hold value because nobody wanted to do this place. Isn't there somebody I talked to, to? There's somebody that I talked to. Jaina, hi, how you doing? Oh, you look so youthful. You've, um, this is really a... <laughs> she looks like a, like a doll. Like a cheap one. <laughs> Skin looks great. Um, and you said you were going to start it? You good? Alright. Invading enemies. Current wave one of eight. Off and away. <laughs> like an Elsa doll you buy from Wish. <sighs> you know, this is one instance where having a speed druid wouldn't really help me that. Well, actually, it would probably help me getting around. I was thinking of maybe taking a hunter just with um, Pathfinder for farming because it's kind of like a nice medium level of speed without needing to actually like set up any gear. I could also try putting on my old speed set on my druid to see what it feels like. Because I have one, I just, it's, I feel like it might be outdated. Speed it up if you kill them at their spawn. I don't know where they spawn. Oh, I got a, oh, I already had it. It's a BOE. Oh, it's a valuable BOE though. 61k. We could get at least 500 gold for that. <laughs> Robe of the Crimson Order. Uh, what are we saying? I will take 11. I'm not a big transmog seller because I don't have any patience. At least 1k. My hope is that anybody that plays in my realm that is transmog collecting and watches this, you know, they get like a, a kind of an early tip off that there is something cheap that they might want. You know, I love it when it goes to somebody who actually needs the mog, but I will. <laughs> I don't really care who gets it. I just don't want it in my bags anymore. I like that robe pretty. Plus, I have one already. Now I got a gray that I could use. What's this first guy drop? First guy, Anatheron. Anatheron. So let's, uh... A lot of the things I'm missing are from the... The vendors. Anatheron, I have 6 of 13 items. Oh, he's got like some weapons and stuff. Ooh, cool weapons too. Man, it is so nice not needing to think about doing this on different... Different characters. You know, it's okay that I can't wear swords. As far as I know, the warbank is not fixed yet. I didn't check in person, but... Make a low-level ult, make gold off how lazy you are. Make sure nobody gets things cheap. <sighs> Reposting 3k auctions a day in my bank tune. Good old transmog selling times. I don't have the patience for it. I'd say I don't have the time for it. That's not true. <laughs> I don't have the time for most things. It's a question of if I have the energy or the uh, the attention span for it. I keep getting those traveler's backpacks. Nobody really wants them for 16 gold. <sighs> Running Shadow Fang Keep is good. Hmm. One thing I will say about this instance is that it's outdoors, so I can kind of be cleaning up my bags and earning my, my gray item IDs as we go here. Not too mad at that. Be surprised if they fix the bank thing before Tuesday. It seems pretty serious. <laughs> Whatever has happened seems pretty dire. And very, very important. Enjoy the hit of the ding the Ludipraiser Robin gives. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, if I sell anything for like 1k gold, that's pretty exciting to me. I don't, I don't post things very often anymore. Plus, I usually spend my gold on um, account-wide stuff that I get to keep, so all of it's just enriching the collection over time. All right. Oh, it's Rage first. Rage, Rage Winter Chill first. Excuse me. Would you give me one of these things? Thank you. He gave me two of these things. We got some plate bracers and some mail bracers, and I needed both of them. 
And then let's go talk to Jaina so that the next boss can, can come on over. It's like when they turned on Cross Realm Trading. It's down for over a week after it was first enabled. Yeah. I'm sure this is not what they had in mind. I don't think they had this scenario on their vision board. Um, especially with, you know, trying to, like, hype up the pre-patch and hype up the, uh, the next expansion. I guess the, as long as it gets fixed before the War Within actually comes out, this is one of the reasons why we do pre-patch before we do an expansion launch, so you don't have, like, game-breaking issues like this happening at the same time as all the new content. Okay. It is fun when you sell a MOG for actual value. Um... Whenever, uh, whenever you do have the patience to, like, post and, and wait for it like that. It's kind of satisfying. I haven't done it in a while. Because I get antsy that I'm losing too much gold on deposits, because I don't really keep track of how much gold I've been spending on deposits, so whenever I'm just posting the same things over and over again. But I think mock selling is going to pick up a bit as people more things to make it easier to, to buy things. Yo keeps getting like the same ambassador achievements over and over. Something's wrong with achievements for sure. Mm -hmm. Who actually wants to pay 60k for a robe? You would be surprised. Oh man. So that was Anathron. He dropped me the same staff that I already had twice. Which is rude of him. But we move on. How do you find your server rank for Transmux? Data for Azeroth um, is a website that quantifies it. Bear in mind that the only way for websites to track that is by using a number from the Blizzard API that counts unique IDs and not unique appearances. So somebody that has collected the same appearance multiple times from different items will have an advantage um, on data for Azeroth, but that is what I use to check. I use it to see my rankings. Did I need to talk to her before I left or can I just leave? I use it to see my rankings for um, things like my map collection, my pet collection, my mod collection. Yeah. Be surprised at how much island expedition weapons still go for. Who actually farms them? It's hard to get a specific island mog if that's what you're looking for. Getting any island mog is not too bad, but if you're looking to get like there's one piece that you really want. Yeah, there we go. It's uh, kind of hard to do that. So it, it, I guess it makes sense. The boar is in southeast Dunmoreau. Drop a unique item worth a fair bit. I wonder if it was one of the pieces that was added back in recently. Uh, this is kind of a cool staff. I've used this on druids before. It's just not a... It's just it's something that I already had. It's got little flower animations on it. Sometimes I like using the really old mug. Ancient gem vein. I don't think I've ever seen that node before. Super rare island weapons with really low drop rates. Hmm. Is the Stinkrot Smasher one of them? I know it's from islands and I know I love it, but I don't know how rare it actually is. So we've got Asgalor and Kazrigal. And there's a decent chunk of things that they could give as well. Yeah, there are PvP pieces that I need from some of these things. So I'm going to have to be a bit clever. Sort of plundered kings pretty good. Seeing people try to pr price it lower than a million. Not exactly an expert. What do you mean? <laughs> On the internet? No way. Uh, in we go. Off and away. Mm. I'm kind of having fun just getting extra item ideas on like the white and gray items that are dropping just the trash because it's something i've kind of kind of sort of wanted to do for a really long time but i just couldn't be bothered to mail around grays that i already had the appearance of just so i could have them from another item but if i can just get it by vendoring them then i'm i'm all on board Mm -hmm. 
400? 20. More gold than vendoring it would have been. Hello, excuse me, are there enemies? Any enemies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember when I first made a speed druid and I was just like drunk on the, the power of being able to just like mass produce greens and stuff. My go-to place to run was Black Fathom, no, Black Rock Depths, the dungeon one in the, the dwarf dungeon in the mountains. BRD. I would live in BRD because it was huge and there was always so many things that I could use and get and like everything felt like it was valuable even if none of it actually sold. Um, I'm using all the things to track uh, account-wide things but not general or expansion things generally speaking and I'm not too fussed about heirlooms. So looking for appearances, illusions, mounts, pets, and toys. But I'm not too worried about like quests and flight paths and whatnot. This for me, yeah. And then I turn account mode on and off depending on. Well, I guess maybe I'll just leave it on now. <laughs> I used to turn it on and off depend, you know, to kind of filter what I could get versus my whole overall collection. But also, I'm thinking we're going the wrong way. Nowadays, I guess I just leave it on account mode because there's so many things that we can get. Oh, I wonder how. Collecting in the War Within is going to feel, because it's all going to be brand new stuff, but I'm going to be able to get more things on one character now. That sounds kind of nice. <laughs> At least they count down for you how many are left. <laughs> of all instances for it to give me. I guess there's a reason I haven't been in this one. Saw the Deathbringer's Will was basically coming back as a catch-up trinket for a pre-patch from ICC. I'm not familiar with that one. I know they're adding a new heirloom item that we can combined, kind of like we did in the last one. No one talks about Sunken Temple anymore. Does Sunken Temple still have a hole in the middle? That was my favorite thing about watching people play Classic, was people falling in the hole. Big armor penetration one back then. Oh, I see, I see. Anything cool from the end of this raid? You get more like tier items. Yeah, there's some cool swords. I never, I would always do this on casters. So there's some neat weapons in here that I just like, whoa, look at that thing. I've never seen that before. That is violent. <laughs> That's crazy. The hole in the middle was why it was sinking. Trying to farm weapons and remix with a warrior, it's just frustrating. Yeah. Taking forever. Yeah, I think I'm probably done with remix or with remix collecting. I know I didn't get everything. I know I didn't get that last Megara's Fang. I do kind of want it. It's a pretty color, the coral one. <laughs> Random Redshirt, thank you for the 48 month wreath. Very much appreciated. Holy smokes, that's a long time. My goodness. One of the coolest in swords in the game. Still wondering if they'll add ensembles. Yeah. My hope kind of peaked like two weeks ago and it's been pretty much gone ever since. I have a feeling that they're busy. <laughs> that they have other things going on that they're that are more important in their scheme of things right now. Hi. Hi, how you doing? You're so soft. 
Okay, well, okay, okay. Just in here, so you can. Here's a little. Oh, I'm gonna bother her. I don't want to bother you. Hi, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. Hi. How do you get so soft? Hmm. Hello, hello. Training with Bug yesterday in Remix. Oh. Hope they fix it soon. Mm. Oh, there's some more stuff over here. Also, I think I. You know, I don't really hate farming on Priest now that I can have a Holy Nova and whatever spec. It's not a big deal. Kind of nice to just run in and blast it all down. Maybe I'm not the fastest, but there's something to be said about transmog farming on your main. I don't know why it satisfies me, but it does. There's nine more enemies. Are they... Are they... Flying? They are flying. Increased range also nice. Hmm. Uh, as far I have not heard any estimates for when the Warband Bank or trading will be working again. I'm assuming as soon as they get it fixed. Super satisfying to just run stuff without thinking about what you can't get. Yeah. Anyone else have the gigantic game menu bug? Yeah, me too. It's it's big. I turned my UI scale down a little bit, um, but it's still disproportionately large. I missed somebody. There's one. Oh, hello. Warbank will be working soon, TM. Mm -hmm. Logged on to an update, wasn't sure. Who's to say? <laughs> Have you tried calling or texting the supposed person using your bank? You can tell them to get out of it. I think it's funny that that's the error message that they're using to, to lock it up. They don't have anything else that they can put on that screen for the moment. Half mind to make a speed priest. Makes the rest of the game look smaller. <laughs> I really did scale down the rest of my UI, because when I first logged on, I thought I had broken something somehow. I don't know why my first instinct was that I had done it, because it was a patch. It was like... Like, no, I didn't move anything around, but... I guess I can always put it back later. I've never noticed the taxidermied co- Oh, it's a, it's a hide. I was thinking, this is like a really gruesome Kodo coming out of this tent. Are we sure that they came up with this? It's still got the head on it and everything. That's like, that's kind of brutal. See why they don't want to give estimates on fixes right now. It's, especially when something's broken, I feel like it's hard to say when it will be fixed. Like, unless you already know exactly what's wrong and how you're going to go about fixing it and you're 100% sure it's going to work. Troubleshooting doesn't always work like that. It's like, you, you know, you, your, your printer's acting up and you need to print something. And you don't know where the problem is. You just know that it's point A is not talking to point B. Uh, sometimes you're not going to know when it's going to be better. <laughs> sometimes you just have to keep troubleshooting and hope something works. The error message kind of implies that they had functionality to let people other than you access your bank. <laughs> oh. What do you think about the bad decision? <laughs> there's a there's a great start to a sentence. What do you think about the bad decision Blizzard made to make raids in Shadowlands and BFA much harder? I would be very surprised if they did it on purpose. Um, but scaling's weird. Scaling's always been kind of wonky. Uh, I don't think it's a good thing, but it's not it's not gonna ruin ruin my breakfast. There we go. Wait for the do. <gasps> Two items. We got some Beast Tamer's shoulders and a Razor Fury mantle. Gross. <laughs> oh, those are cool. They've got liquid in them. Remember when shoes started to get like those little, little clear things in them and then they would fill them with liquid and then they would like put like sparklies and stuff in them. You'd have like sprinkles floating in water in your shoe. That's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from this. <laughs> Bonus points if they light up when you walk.
If you hit 70 in a fresh remix tune, you'll also agree scaling is a heck of a drug. Uh, can someone tell me why they deactivated it? There, the rumor is that there was a duping glitch that was possible with it, um, and that turning it off was the only way to prevent people from duping items until they can fix that glitch or functionality or whatever it is. That's the uh, that's the word on the street. Blizzard hasn't said anything aside from a critical issue. In my in my personal in my personal world. If something hasn't been said publicly by, by Blizzard, then it's a rumor. <laughs> it can be a credible rumor. I'll give it that. I think it's pretty credible. But we can't just start throwing around, around words like confirmed. Um, because it's, you know, it's, <laughs> we're going to lose our place in the world. I have seen it done. Well, I'm, we're not going to do it here. Hi. Hi, Mr. Sonic Jen. How you doing today? Hazel, can you confirm that Kira is, in fact, adorable? Kitty, are you cute? Are you real cute? You're so sweet. <laughs> yeah. And the vet even said she was really cute. Independently vetted by a third party, huh? Yeah. She's so cuddly. <laughs> She's so... C even with people that she doesn't know. Like, the vet will be, like, holding onto her, like, feeling all of her organs and stuff. And Kitty's just like, hello? Can you help me get out of here? <laughs> I don't know who you are, and you smell kind of weird, but maybe you can save me. <laughs> When's the last time you were in Dragon Soul? Ooh. Been a minute. I got all the mounts from it, and I don't think I've looked back ever since. She really is a very pretty cat. Mm. Thank you. I don't know why I say thank you. I didn't make her pretty. <laughs> she did that all by herself. I'm saying thank you on her behalf. I'm sure she would. She's a gracious girl. Maybe after, uh, I'll roll another random raid after this. Maybe it'll give me a, <laughs> maybe it'll give me Dragon Soul. I wonder how much stuff I'm still missing from there. Probably a bunch. I was never a big run raids on plate characters kind of person. I wonder how much stuff I need from, uh, I don't think it'll, oh, it will show me in combat. So if I look at Kata, Dragon Soul. So I am actually less than half completed out of Dragon Soul. And I think Tyr is going to kind of mess that up a bit. Also legendary, gross. Looking for raid. Oh no, <laughs> Dragon Soul LFR. I mean, it works with legacy loot now, right? There, there would be a lot I could get out of Dragon Soul LFR. Six enemies. Only wave four of eight. It's okay. This is the last wave based boss. It's time to death wave blows. What about um other difficulties of it? I have 80% of things from normal. 40% of things from heroic. That's kind of surprising to me. Yeah, I need tons of loot from heroic dragon soul apparently. LFR NPC for Caterades. No idea. <laughs> That's probably one of the reasons I don't do it. Stormwind's probably a good a good guess, but I don't know. It could be near the raid itself as well. Someone in chat knows. Are you going for server number one? Right now I'm going for server ten. <laughs> um, for transmog. I don't think there's a server ranking for. Oh well, actually I guess there is, isn't there? There's a server overall for data for Azeroth, like total data for Azeroth score. Um. But that's going to include stuff that I don't do, like quests. My completion score it puts me at Lightbringer 19. It is near the raid. Mm. Uh, Violet Holden Dala has, um, has queuable for Legion raids. Legion raids there. 
Master of a Solo Pop. It means nothing for me. Hey. Makes it a little easier to get to number one. Region wide, too big. I do have a Lore Master title. I got Lore Master a few years ago. Lore Master. The Lore Master. 2014! I got Lore Master almost 10 years ago. In, in late September of 2014, we're just a couple months shy of the 10 year anniversary of my Lore Master achievement. That's upsetting. <laughs> what is time? Do you feel like it gets harder? Uh, probably, because they keep, yeah, they keep asking for more, right? So when I did this in 2014, it didn't have nearly as many components to it. It was post Cataclysm, so I didn't have to do like the old version of it. Um, but yeah. <laughs> a lot of quests since then. I have got the more recent Lore Master achievements as well, mainly because I kept wanting them for Pathfinder. But yeah, like overall quest completion, I have half. I have 50% of quests done. Lore Master definitely does not need you to do everything. Especially not nowadays. Nowadays it just wants the main campaign. I wonder how gross it would be to get higher in quest completion. I mean, and we're working on appearances right now, one thing at a time. But I'm Lightbringer 101 for quests at 50%. Yeah, I'm gonna stick to appearances for at least this week. See what we can do. Alright, it's the last wave. Congratulations on your Fell Steel Annihilator. Should I dump everything in my bags at the start of the War Within? Oh, another one of those things. Um, I will. I typically clean out my bags um, pretty, pretty much completely. I'll hold on to like my teleport cloak. Um, sometimes I like to keep like some some buff food to just be leveling with, but it's not really that important. All right, come on, Asgalar. I need stuff. <laughs> I need lots of different things. Help me out. Okay, we got a plate chest piece. And then we got three protector gloves. So there's our warrior hunter shaman. And there are one, two, three, four, five, six things that I could get from those. But like... Some of them are like, I'm not sure if I just like right click to use it, if it's going to give me the right thing. Cause yeah, some of them are PVP and some of them are not. And the appearances might actually be different or maybe they're not. I don't know anything. <laughs> I just know I got confused when I tried to learn an appearance from an item like that in, um, in whatchamacallit. Carries in. Also, is this not the coolest mount for this raid or what? <laughs> I'm bringing the big guns to the battle for Mount Hygel. <laughs> PvP vendor for some of them. Yeah. Uh, well, let's see, farm box to all your alts. Yeah, you don't even need to send it to your leather users. You can just learn it on your on your cloth character, or your plate character, whatever you happen to be on. It'll get added to your account. That feature is in now. What is that thing? This was from Warcraft 3 Remastered. Um, and to be completely frank with you, I never played Warcraft 3 Remastered. I just bought it. So it was basically a really expensive shop mount. I never even booted the thing up. No, I didn't get the Diablo 4 mount. At a certain point, I realized I was going to have to stop buying really expensive mounts <laughs> by getting collector's editions for games I wasn't going to play. Um, class specific gear will not unlock, no. In some cases it might warbind and you might be able to move it to the correct character, but it won't unlock on, on, on the relevant character. There's probably a shortcut here somewhere.
It was the lowest rated game on review sites when it came out. Did you play it? I never played it. You were better off not playing it. Well, if the review sites say so. Oh, there he is. All right, Archimon. I would like everything. I want some swords. There's cool swords. That's a neat shield, too. Anyone else having issues with TSM since pre-patch? I haven't been using it in Dragonflight. I think I have it installed but not enabled. Do I have to do anything special or does he just have to kill all these wisps? Yeah. <laughs> he just he just wasn't done his murder. Anything? Oh, a couple of things. We got Cataclysm's Edge, the sword. We got Mail of Fevered Pursuit, little chest piece. And then as well, some pieces. So these are Warbound. This would be really a nice thing to have in the war bank. <laughs> I guess I could literally just send them to my bank alt for now. And uh, I could send them to my bank alt for the moment. And then my bank halt can stick them in the war bank whenever the ba war bank becomes available. I think that's probably fine. War bank who? <laughs> Never heard of them. I hope they do get it fixed. That's like one of the features I was most excited about, and I'm gonna be real bummed if it doesn't pan out. I was <laughs> I was promised. Okay, so I'm looking for the tier tokens. Are those for all that we had? Uh, I guess I could just search like Protector, Conqueror. What are the other ones? Um, actually, yeah, I guess it's just those four. So let's send those to my bank hall for the moment. <laughs> and she can hold on to them until I can figure out who needs them for transmog and whether or not they need to visit a vendor. And then we can clear out our bags of all of this stuff. And that should get us... Yeah, that should get us some more appearances too. Perfect. Ha -ha. We're moving on up. Also, I should check and see if those items are worth anything. The uh, grotesque... The Hygel Wisp and the Grotesque. Yeah, maybe. Worth a try. Make sure I'm caging the level 1s and not the level 25s. <laughs> not trying to sell my fully leveled pets over here. I need those for me. Have you noticed an increased gold amount from vendoring old raid gear? I'm pretty out of touch with what it used to vendor for, so I'm not quite sure. Uh, 200. You know what, 100. Blow, blow out, doorbuster sale. As a software engineer myself, the idea of working on resolving the war bank issue while millions of people wait on me sounds like a literal nightmare. Yeah, no pressure or anything. Oh, another web? No, we don't need that. Don't need that. Perfect. Okay. Time to roll a new instance, right? There wasn't anything else I was meant to do. I think I'm ready to pick a new instance to run through. We got a few things from there. Also, I should see. I should see where my progress is at. We're up to 61.6. .6. Sorry, Kit Kat. Six. We got another 0.01% from that. I need that. Gets back to work for CrowdStrike. Oh man. Bad day at work for the devs. There must be a real superpower that you try to cultivate of blocking out all of the noise that's not helpful right now. Like the, the public opinion and what people are saying 
and how important it is that it get fixed. Like, that's not going to make you work any harder. Like, you're already at work doing your best. So it is, there's there's got to be some kind of a, like, a mindfulness practice and a way to kind of just, like, set that aside because it's not helpful. And uh, just focus on, on doing your best. Kaza, darling, thank you for the 31-month reset. Plus, something like that never falls on just one person. You'd hope. <laughs> You'd really hope. All right. Give me a new instance. What do we got? Da -da! And Taurus. I mean, I can run it, but I'm not going to make it past ENR. I don't, I don't want to. Da -da -da! Hellfire Citadel. Really? Hellfire Citadel? I don't have a... Ooh, LFR Hellfire Citadel. There's a ton of stuff missing from there. Where's the NPCs for that? Where do you go for WAD raid LFR NPC? Let me Google that. Uh, Garrison looks like. Where's my Garrison Arsenal? There it is. Got almost 5k gold in the mythic run of HFC. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay. So let's do it on LFR because that's where I need like the most stuff. Oh, not you. Not you. Sorry. <laughs> not happening. They were like out front of here, I thought. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had a black market representative. Hey, there's an Invincible. Three million gold! Somebody really wants Invincible, or does it start there? Good grief! I mean, I guess so. Holy smokes. Also, sometimes you can literally flip these pets, like they, like the Argent Tournament pets. They go up for like 1k, and you can sell them. Like, that one's on the auctions right now for 125k. People can and do flip those off the BMA. Uh, three million! Have they considered just getting them out to drop? <laughs> Didn't realize you could even buy mounts like that on there. Mm. Have to sell it in that form. The actual learn pet's cheaper. Oh. Let me see. Enchanted room. Mm, still around 100k, honestly. Let me undermine journal it. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to do it because I'm not, but. Enchanted broom. Uh, so on US realms, there are some that are as low as like kind of 30, 16 to 30k. And median's kind of 38. So it definitely is expensive on Lightbringer right now, but it's all above one. <laughs> it's all pretty substantially above one anyway. It wasn't you. I thought it was right in front of the building. Oh, it's you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all right. I want... I mean, I could honestly just do all of these. I bet you I bet you I need stuff from the whole shebang. If we're looking at like Warlords of Draenor, LFR, I have almost none of it. Let's just start at the top of the list. I never do this. I do Legion LFRs. I don't know why. I guess just because that's where that's the NPC that I know where it is. Zulian Tiger was up on my server today. Instant 10 mil gold. Yeah, I bet. There's people that, um, that, I mean, especially now. Well, I mean, I guess if, uh, if it was yesterday, they were still able to move their gold cross realm real easy. People that, like, camp or check BMOs on multiple servers to try to get an item like that for gold cap. Uh, I'm probably, I'm maining the Holy Priest slash Shadow Priest in with Within. I haven't really committed to one or the other. I was going to try and maybe do both and then see what sort of is needed more if people need me or maybe what's more fun, but kind of feel it what people need me to do. I don't really collab with them. I don't, I haven't really made a collab with anybody in like years and years. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of in a little bubble. 
I recommend Jack all the time for um, priest content, though. He's my source for... He's the Wowhead writer, so he's my source for... Um, for all of my all of my priest info. Love time all back in the day. Fun raid. The non LFR fist weapon. Now the first boss is an amazing monk. What do you mean a non LFR one? <laughs> What's wrong with the LFR one? Or does the is there a cool one that doesn't drop an LFR? Looks like there's four items that he could give me. This is good. This was the first raid I did with my guild. Because we formed and kind of came together at the end of Mob, but we weren't really raiding for Siege of Orgrimmar. Um, so this was my very first raid with my raiding guild. And I was still so nervous. I really didn't want to mess it up. See you later, kitty cat. She's out of here. For some reason, it's a wildly different model. Oh, interesting. There's a weapon illusion I don't have. Rockbiter. Oh, it's shaman only. Interesting. That's kind of cool. I didn't know there was a shaman only weapon up here or weapon illusion in, in here. Do you think it's hard for him to wear shirts, and that's why he's not wearing one? With his um, like imagine trying to like put something, take something off. <laughs> Even if you had, like, holes in your shoulders with, like, grommets to slide right over those so you could wear, like, a jacket, because they're curved, it would still be really annoying to, like, get them socketed correctly. <laughs> You'd have to wear a halter top. That's true. Yeah, you could wear something, something sleeveless. What if, his, what if he's cold? <laughs> Do warlords ever get chilly? Can I skip this? I can skip this. Any luck? Haha! -ha, two, three things! I got, uh, I needed all of it. I needed every, well, yeah, because I got one thing twice. So I needed all those things. That's excellent. Off and away. Single use shirts when you get the spiky, spiky shoulders. What if he, um, sprays them on? It's a, like, like a hardening foam situation. Then you just shower it off at the end of the day. He goes for a dip in the pool that had the big mushroom boss. Oh, that's right. I remember this. And by I remember this, I mean I remember that I don't remember where I'm going. But I'm pretty sure you can do it in whatever order you want. Let's go this way. <laughs> the butcher used to really scare me. This fight was hard. Or I found it hard when I first started writing. Any luck? Oh yeah, this is so satisfying. I got a chopper and I got some bracers and I got some boots. And I got a cloak. Haha. <laughs> this is gonna be good for percentage. Plus I can mount in here. Based on his looks, I don't think Carcass shall. What if his skull just produces a lot of oil and he's respecting his I'm not here to judge. Separate loot window. All the pink text. Uh, well, actually, I'll go that way later. I like the trash in here. Just not not like a ton of little fiddly things. Just big mobs that did fairly obvious things, more or less, hanging out in groups around the uh, around the citadel. Every time I see the Tectus, Tectus boss, I think of Tetanus. I was always scared of him. Tectus had the um, the voice lines. I need to turn him up, actually. Rise, mountain. I'm pretty sure that was him. Uh, dialogue. Turn that on. Brackenspore. I remember being really proud of myself when I like figured out Brackenspore. I've forgotten all of it now, but... Um, data for Azeroth is tracking my, my collection progress against my realm. And yeah. We got gloves, bracers, and more gloves. 
it's so much better than it would have been before then because not a lot of these things aren't cloth basically all of them aren't cloth maybe one thing with cloth guy behind dfa is really kind he's been here um now and then he's dropped by said hello I like it a lot. The way it the way it uh organizes and shows data just tickles my brain. <laughs> See to know, thank you very much for the brand new stuff. Appreciate it. Um not time to go through there yet. There's a wall over here. Maybe I need to go around and clear some more trash. I think soulbound patterns are still soulbound. I don't think they automatically warbind. Yeah, you can also track your progress on your whole region if um, if the realm is a an issue. Regions are big, are big though, with a lot of people on them, so it's a lot harder to get what feels like a meaningful meaningful number. Oh, am I done the wing? Is that why they won't let me through? I forgot I was in LFR. Um, I might be just done this whole wing. <laughs> you have to kind of remember when you're finished. Good evening, Hazel. Good evening. I don't want to leave if I'm not finished, but I think I'm probably finished. How many wings are there in them? Um... Because there's only so many bosses. You'd think the Tectus would be the thing. Uh, all the things is an add-on that's tracking my, my appearances that I can get up here. That's all the things. Hargath and the Butcher. Okay, yeah, so Arcane Sanctum has Tectus and the Ogre. So we're good. We're, we're done here. We need to go into the next wing. That's right. Because <laughs> I'm doing LFR right now because that's where I need the most appearances from. Evening, Hazel. Good evening, Serviti. How are you doing today? Collecting all possible... No, there's no setting to exclude tier set items as far as I know. I wonder if somebody would be maybe working on it because that's not the first time I've heard that suggestion. Greetings, sir. What do you need? Arcane Sanctum. For the Horde. So leave the Colosseum. We need to do Tectus, and then Ogron, and then Korra. And then Imperator's Fall is just Imperator Mardok. <laughs> makes more sense. I was so confused as to why I couldn't go into Tectus, but I forgot I was in LFR. Rise Mountain. I turned my dialogue sound up specifically so I could hear it again. It's been a, it's been a little bit. So Tectus can give me one, two, three, four, five things. I think that the Rockbiter won't help me though, because I think that would actually still need to drop for a Shaman because it's class locked and because it's BOP. Unless it Warbinds now, which it may not. Am I the only one who thought the Warband was the core four characters? I think there was a lot of confusion on that point. Um, the, the campfire scene really threw people off. Your Warband is definitely all characters in your account. You don't have to just stick to just the four. Those are it's just kind of for cosmetics. Definitely not the only one. Yeah, lots of lots of people. It was kind of funky branding because they just wanted like a they were just making more things account wide, but they want like a blizzard word for it. You know, they wanna they want something to put on a slide. Made in four alts. Shatter break. I know that the sets you buy from Remix don't show up as sets in your characters. I wonder if Better Wardrobe and Transmog has them set up. See, I had that issue as well. I was also kind of frustrated by that. 
even the mountains fall. Yeah. One, two, three things. Including a heck of a helmet. She, uh, she looks a little, a little scared. All right, correct. Oh, are you back? You wanna come back? Gonna go have fun. Have a great day, Mr. Sonic Gen. Different set of four characters at the campfire for each server. Didn't realize it was one screen. Showed all of them. I wonder if somebody only has one character, if the other slots are just empty and you can choose in which place you want them to sit, or if they're always going to be on the far left. <laughs> I don't, uh, I don't have enough self self control to only have one character, so I don't know what it looks like, but I'm sure some people do. You can remove tunes from the first four slots. Oh. So if I wanted just my main there, and I wanted her to have no friends. Poses in the login screen would be cool. Mm -hmm. They can be alone. <laughs> I might do that. The king don't want to see nobody. Go away. These guys were so funny. So they have one, two, three, four, five different things I could get, including some cloth shoulders. See, those look fuzzy. <laughs> those look kind of comfy. Thinking about reducing my characters to just four, better focusing on a few than being lost on 32. I would consider that if I wasn't so attached to brute forcing mount farms. I like having like 20 or more characters to throw against the same like rare boss or whatever it is within one lockout to try to like make the game drop a mount for me. But most of the time I don't use most of those characters and it would be kind of nice to have a little more focus. I wonder how long it took for them to decide that there were going to be four characters in the favorite screen. How many other numbers they might have gone through for that. Are these guys, do I have to like, do something? Or, oh, is it because maybe I didn't finish this guy? Yeah. My bad. Uh -huh. We got a captured arcane fragment and a dagger. It's kind of neat. Didn't have that before. Some cool appearances in here. And there's one more boss in this wing. Welcome, Misty Blue Eye. This fight was hard. <laughs> this fight, this fight really stretched me at the time. Fire the cannon. Thank you for the brand new sub. Appreciate it. Any luck? Oh yeah, lots of luck. Whoa, we got a sword. Is it cool? That's a pretty. That's a huge sword. <laughs> Magic breaker, great sword. We got a pole arm. We got a helmet. Nice. And then uh, we have to leave the instance for Imperator. Man, these these Wad LFRs are being great. <laughs> these are awesome for me. I need so many things from them. And then it looks like these items are vendoring for like kind of oh, that weapon is gonna go for a hundred gold. 85, yeah, not bad. <laughs> not bad at all. Not a bad place to be. Especially because you can just you don't even need to travel. You can just stay here and just keep like queue for one after another after another. McTaser too, thank you for the 54 month freaks of Hey Hazel. Love your streams. Thank you very much. I might just keep doing them. I got, I finally got caught up on um, <laughs> uploading my stream VODs. I'd been a little messy for the last week or so, but the recent ones up to yesterday are all now posted. 
on my stream vod YouTube channel, where if you want to watch a Hazel stream and you didn't make it live and you don't want to deal with the Twitch viewer, <laughs> they don't have any chat replay on them, but they uh, they do exist. Oh. Here, if anybody was looking. Alright, I bet this guy's got great log. He's got a mirror shield, which kind of looks foundry-ish. Gorian Royal Crown. Okay, he's kind of letting me down here. I was expecting this stuff to be prettier. <laughs> Let me set an item level with a slider. Would auto-vendor any gear below that item level? It is not auto-vendor. I used to have that too. I don't use auto vendor anymore. I use. I don't think I have anything that does that anymore. I, I swear it used to be auto vendor. But I don't have that one. Now, I used to. I don't know. This is also how I sit in my chair. <laughs> Maximum slump. You will. We got the legs, we got the cloak, and we got the shield. Oh, it's so satisfying. All right. And it's so fast, too. Like, you could clear it like that. Like, that's a one boss wing. There's not even trash, really. Any character with a garrison, you could just you could just do them all. Speak, friend. All right. Time Go for Blackrock Foundry. Victory. So, this is the slag work. So we've got ore gorger, gruel, and the blast furnace in this in this wing. I can remember <laughs> where any of that was. I'm assuming if the door is closed, then it's not going to open again. Maybe it's downstairs. Man, doing these all the wad raids in order is kind of a kind of a memory trip for me. <laughs> yeah. If I keep my bags pretty clean and I'm not carrying around a bunch of stuff that I want to keep, then I don't mind just like manually vendoring a bag full of stuff. Oh yeah, here we go. But when I'm kind of mid-expansion and I'm carrying around, like, gear sets that I like to switch between and use, like a Shadow and a Holy set, um, it's awful because I will accidentally vendor things from it. And I can't be bothered to deal with item recovery anymore because it's so annoying trying to find the thing that you lost that I just, I just live with my choices. <laughs> I just, I just suffer my consequences, basically. Aura Gorger's got one, two, three, four, five things he could give me. These guys were kind of cute. I like their little somersaults. I too would like to curl up into a ball and roll away sometimes. Of those five things, I just got three of them. <laughs> Diablo 4, you can favorite items in your bag so they can't get sold. I would like that a lot. I would love to be able to, to lock an item manually so that I, it won't let me vendor it. That would be a, a wonderful quality of life feature for WoW. And then Gruel, it's got two, four, five pieces. And then I think you start getting into... Did Wad not have class sets? Are some of these things class tier? Bonus effects vary based on specialization. It doesn't specifically have a class on it, as far as I can see. I don't know, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. I know BFA was one of the expansions that didn't do tier, but I thought WAD... I don't know. 
I'm not even going to worry about it. There he is. So are his traps huge or what? <laughs> he needs to even themselves out a little bit. Do you have any of my loot? Thank you. I got another three things. Excited to continue farming BFA more, but then the HP thing happened. Mm. Got a Wyvern Soul Shape from the Raided Battleground Blitz. A little late, but I'll take it. Nice. Congratulations. All right, Blast Furnace, I think, is probably, even on LFR, still going to be a little bit annoying. Something about taking bombs. Somewhere. But at least we remember where the ramp is. And there are neat things that you can use here. I only have two of 13 appearances this boss could give me. I must have done this like one time during Warlords and then never again since then. <laughs> what I really want is a Griffin Soul Shape. Would be nice to have my Wild Hammer toy. Do you keep the, the Soul Shape toy like on a bar somewhere so you can, you can break them out? Kind of neat. Take your bomb. And then you run into the door. The open door. And you're like, excuse. Oh, I probably should have killed them nearer to the doors? I remember now. So far, how many of these are they really gonna make me do? <laughs> right? With a new bog update, do you auto-learn all armor set drops now? Do you need to put them in the war bank? You will auto-learn them as long as they are not class-locked items. If it's a class-locked item, then it will not auto-learn. If it's a tier token that's for a different class, you can put that in your war bank, or you will once they fix the war bank. You can send that to another character and have them learn it. But if it's a piece of tier that drops, drops directly or a class-locked item, then you're out of luck. Dude, this fight took forever. Tons of bombs near each regular. Yeah, it looks like at least six. It's like two engineers worth. I'll let him get a little closer this time. Yes, that's right. As long as it's not tier, it will auto learn. It's very exciting. The furnace is overheating. Fools! If the fury breaks free, our work I'm trying to just ruined. bulk collect transmog right now. Boost my overall numbers as much as I can. The fury has broken free! Quick! Get it under control! This was such a cool fight at the time. It was so stressful. When like you finally made it to the second phase and the floor is on fire and everybody's dying and everybody's running the wrong way and trying to pull this thing around and We got one, two, three different things from that. And that was the last boss of that wing. <laughs> Stood there, didn't kill moms, kept throwing bombs at me so I could spam the drop bomb button. Oh. Can't wait to go through every raid to farm bots. I've seen things that would scare you shelly. It is auto-vendoring my soulbound stuff of a lower item level. I must have something doing that. Is it Leatrix? It's not Leatrix. I don't know. Look, Tar. Okay. Black Forge. 
finally finished the black hand skip recently. Just go in and try for the mount. Which is super handy for mount farming, but sometimes I'm missing like lots of mog from earlier in the raid because as soon as I get a skip, I'm not like running the whole place anymore. So Hans and Franz, Flamebender, Kagraz, and Chromog are in this wing. Do I remember where they are? Not especially. Hi. <laughs> Oh no, he's stuck. I guess the clue is when it says the Black Forge on the map. <laughs> Maybe that's the, the indicator that that's the direction I should be going in. Also, I need to remember that it's not Remix. I don't have Wind Weaver. I will not survive a fall down an elevator unless I remember to hit Levitate. Oh, that's a big if. Man, I'm gonna have to do this eventually. I just don't want to. It doesn't sound fun. I forgot, I was supposed to do the, the Forge Master from the Farak Assault. That's right. It's just, why do big grind for one set when I can do little grind for many sets? We don't know when Warband Banks will be back whenever they get him fixed. I'm sure they're working on it. Yeah, I would also like it if uh, access to raid skips was account-wide, at least for legacy raids. I understand... It not being account wide for current content, but for for anything that we're using legacy loot for, it would be nice. Hi, sweetie. You're so cute. I jammed it last time. You wanna tell Black Hand we got a stamper that ain't stamping? Hey, you get in there and unjam that stamper. <laughs> yes, this patch will have some. I had to sit this fight out back in the day. I know I'm not the only one. These, uh, the moving belts were murder for motion sickness. And it wasn't something that you could just, like, because it was so baked into the fight, I just couldn't deal with it. Your bones will hear me now. And believe me, later. Mm -hmm. No. Uh, one. No, elbow okay. drop, elbow drop spalders, and... Some drop kickers. Some boots. And then we need to go do Kagrav and Chromog. It's just like such a big loot list. There's so many things. I have 11 things that I could get from Kangras. Uh, I play a note. Here, I'll shake. That's me. I am a gnome shadow slash holy priest. My flame burns to Any luck? Oh. We got a bunch of stuff. One, two, three, four different items from her. Thank you very much. Looking good, looking good. And then I'm missing 10 items from Chromox, so I hope he'll give me a couple. <laughs> I might do all of this again. If I get through all of these in my priest, I would kind of like to do them all again in my druid. There's so many things. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> One boss, five new mugs. Hmm. Nice. And then we need to do iron assembly. I feel like the 
time that you can get away with doing that and have, getting that much stuff from just like one boss. You know, it's it's not gonna last forever. But by the time that we're done with it, we're gonna have a lot more mods than we started off with. Not everything in the ocean. May your blades never dull. Itching to play so much, Mog. Finally found one that does what I want called Vendor. I wonder what I have that's doing it. Because something that I have enabled right now is doing it. And I don't know what. What if it's easy scrap? Or scrap. It might be scrap, actually. Um... It might be scrap. Yeah, so uh, lots of things auto vendor, but what I'm specifically looking for is the thing that is auto vendoring soulbound epic loot that's below a threshold item level. I used to use auto vendor for it, but I don't have that one anymore. And something is doing it. I think it might be scrap. Because typically most auto vendor stuff will only auto vendor like gray items, uh, which the default UI can do as well if you if you hit the button for it. I'm in the. The, not the Slagworks, not the Black Forge, the Iron Assembly. This way. That's right. I wonder how long it'll take him to get the Warbank and the Crossroad trading online. The fact that it that it hasn't been up in the first 24 hours makes me think that it might be a little bit. Train home needs to hurry up. Astral Emperor Serpent Mount. The gold one? Believe you need to do the Veil of Eternal Blossoms meta achievement in Remix. And then maybe buy it on the vendor. Maybe it comes just from doing the achievement. Come! Your meat and bones will feed my animals. Alright, Dermic. Let the others Five things you could give me. How many are we going to get? Me. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Just the achieve? Nice. That's pretty easy then. I don't know what they did in the maintenance window. I'm sure they're working on getting. There's quite a few different things that are uh, acting up a little bit, so I'm sure they're on it. Hmm. We generally stick to English here. We have. I am. Uh, <laughs> I know you're just introducing yourself, but we're unable to moderate in multiple languages, so we're we're an English-only chat. Track three inbound. Track three inbound. Track two. Oh no, the trains! I forgot about the trains. <laughs> this used to bug, didn't it? This used to break. The language is real does not apply to me because I am um, all powerful here, <laughs> and it's my room and I get to do what I want. But unfortunately, we only I only really speak the one language. <laughs> I am uh, I'm not very cultured in that respect. All right, though, guy. There's a lot of different things you could give me. Anything? Oh. Thogar gave me one, two. Three, four, five, six items just now. I think he dropped me six different items, and I needed the appearances from all of them. That's crazy. Despite all the French in Canada. Yeah. We do learn some French in school, even here in BC. Um, and there are certainly plenty of people that speak a lot more French than me, but it's not something that comes up too often in my day-to-day. -day. 
Um, this add-on is all the things. Patience, sisters. The sooner we finish our work, the sooner we crush our enemies. Sorka, ensure the peons are keeping pace. My pleasure. What's Morak, load the ammunition into the main cannon. Right. What? The trains are behind schedule? I think I see the problem. Let's see how well you I took French in school all the way through grade 12, but I don't remember very much of it because I haven't really used it since. <sighs> On the West Coast, they teach Parisian French and not Quebecois, which is funny. Is that true? I didn't know that. I guess I'm, <laughs> I've never, I've never double checked. I don't even know what a lot of the differences are. I would have assumed they would have taught us Canadian French. Hello? Excuse me. What else do I have to do? Bob's in the water? Uh, that's right, that's right. Thank you. What brutality! What bloodshed! Be Sorka, this isn't a game! Get down there! Don't worry, I'm coming. This looks fun. Took me five-ish minutes posting it in a Discord server for help to realize. Time What's embarrassing is I've had that problem and I've been given that solution and I've had that realization before. It's not even the first time I've been stuck there. Holy smokes, that's a lot of mog. One, two, three, four. Easy to forget, yeah. They're sneaky. They're hiding. Greetings, I haven't even made it into uh, Hellfire Citadel yet. How's our how's our overall percentage looking? Sixty-one point seven seven. We are creeping our way towards sixty-two percent. We're getting lots of transmog, but it's a real it's a real big list. There's a lot of stuff to grind. Garrisons haven't been to mine in ages. Hmm. So it's just black hand in this way. I think my monk is technically casting the passive first talent of the hero talents. Flurry of swipes he's doing, and it's on the PTR. Hmm. Whenever um, I'm watching television and there's like a character or a person that has like a really strong Australian accent, I need, even though we're, we're both speaking English <laughs> and we're both Commonwealth countries, I need subtitles. I can't. Uh, hero talents will be unlocked as you level to 80, so they're not usable right now. Had to learn Quebec French when I moved from France to Quebec. I consider them as two totally different languages. Um. Is there a trick to the elevator, or do I just have to wait? Oh, 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 it's coming, it's coming. Uh, super thick Glaswegian, not a chance. Absolutely not. Farming on a priest instead of a faster class. It's because my priest is my main and it feels nice to farm on her. Listen, she's not that slow. She's got angelic feather and body and soul. Boundary. Step forward. I will put you in your place. I'll burn you. We are. <coughs> oh, oh my gosh, it's so much stuff. Weapon. One, two, three, four, five. Plus, we got the black hand forge hammer. Without Why doesn't it look more black candy? That's the forge hammer? What else we get? All kinds of stuff. Oh, 
Look at those little legs bumping away. Mm. Alright, so we finished we finished foundry, so it's time to start HFC. I wonder how annoying this is gonna be. Didn't they make it easier? The um the cannons thing? We'll see. I've seen things that would scare you shellless. Come back with them. Stand, proud warriors. Our enemies march upon the foot of this mighty citadel. So from here, I have literally none of the appearance from Elfa Elifar Hellfire itself because I've never in my life found a reason to do it before. So there's 10 items that could drop and I could use any of them. Absolutely any of them. Uh, raid Finder first started at the end of Cata with Dragon Soul. That was the first raid to ever get Raid Finder. If you enjoy slow, nobody is judging. I disagree. I feel like you are judging. I can feel the judgment radiating off of you. Most English accents. Well, mm. I watched a few episodes of a rugby docuseries, and after the Irish team and the Scottish team independently when they would win matches they would sing songs in their locker room that sounded very like like folk songs basically and I thought that was very cool <laughs> there's not a lot of things that will just get like a group of boys to start singing together around here um, unless you have a bunch of uh, my gamer friends and you play them some Carly Rae they know all the words to that but <laughs> generally speaking it's a little harder North America Get a, get a nice little sing-along going. Move out. Still need to do skips for this raid so I can farm the mail. This mail was annoying. It was nicer after the skip, but it was still kind of annoying. Once we get through this, though, I think the rest of it's pretty straightforward. I see we have visitors. Two arms. All right, so she's coming out. Couple interesting tree branching options for gameplay. Oh. I'm curious as to how different Holy Priest actually feels. Like I, I, I know that I played it on, <laughs> on beta, and I played it in raid testing, so you'd think I would know. But the core spec didn't feel crazy different to me, but I also didn't really play with talents. I basically grabbed starter talents for efficiency and then uh, messed around with hero talents a little bit. I found the oracle hero talents definitely felt more... A little fussier, a little more intricate. A bunch of stuff going on there. And uh, I was kind of overwhelmed by it in beta, but I think that was because I'm also overwhelmed by everything else that's new. I think when given enough time to like absorb it and kind of get your feet under yourself, it'll be fun. Attack! Setting up the skip in like 10 tunes and the mount dropped on week four. I swear there's like, that's the, that's, that's just the, the way the universe works sometimes. That's usually when something drops for me is when I finally like, cave and I go, okay, I'm gonna take this seriously and I start moving a bunch of characters out somewhere and I start, like, you know, setting up skips and stuff. That's usually when, uh... <laughs> when it drops. Coming in hot. Attack! The most time I ever spent on mage was in Shadowlands, one of the middle Shadowlands seasons. I geared up a fire mage and messed around with it in keys. But I usually, I prefer hybrid classes. I prefer priest. Priest is my favorite thing. And if I'm going to be a non-hybrid class, I want to be a hunter because I like pet classes. I would say those are kind of my two things. Is I would love to play, I like playing ranged. I like playing hybrids that can heal. And failing that, I want like a warlock or a, or a hunter. The fury of hellfire itself! 
<laughs> I like this voice acting. Establish a foothold here. Press forward. And Cormorock. I've got seven items I could use from him. Chest for the first boss. You're right! You're right! I totally forgot. Did I forget? Did I loot it? I didn't loot it. Where is it? <laughs> is it back here? It is back here. It would have gone in my mail, but I, you're right. I was totally forgetting. Another... Only two items from that. Three? Two? Three. Yeah, because I got a couple of doubles. There we go. Here, let my train stop. Gonna leg it home to play. Have fun. Have a great day. Yeah, if you don't loot um, boss loot in an instance, it will hit your mailbox. Um, so, no worries. If you forget to loot a boss, it's not the end of the world. You don't have to run back for it. If it despawns, it's okay. It'll uh, The postmaster will grab it for you. Come back up. Careful. Watch your head. You want help? You're good. You got it. Oh, I forgot about the trash that stuns you. <laughs> that used to get so many people killed. So Cormorok's got seven things that he could give me. I don't even know if any of this is cool. I just want a quantity right now. Hope the postmaster gets paid for all this overtime. Send him a little basket of mini muffins. Yeah, yeah, the remix mechanic of having things go to your mailbox is using that same that same thing. It's usually just a nice little failsafe in case you forget to loot a boss. There's not usually a lot of incentive to leave stuff on the ground unless we're talking specifically remix XP. I love the Postmaster quest in Legion where you help with the mail. Mm -hmm. They also, um, I liked the mail boss in... Hazavesh as well, with the the chickens that were being shipped that you would like release or you shouldn't do, but you <laughs> you could. A little more loose chicken chaos in your world. Mm. All right, come on, Cormorak. It can save time to not loot. That's true. That's a good point. Did we do enough? We did do enough. He's so bouncy. What do you got? <laughs> it excites me every time. One, two, three. Four new pieces of loot from that, and that was the last boss from this first win. Step closer and don't mumble. Okay, let's get into the next one. So we did Hellbreach. Wow, there's like a lot of wings to this all far. Uh -oh. 
So this might be a good scenario where it might help. Might be a good thing that that loot's gonna hit my mailbox because um, I'm pretty sure I don't have anything. I'll check, but I don't think I have a looter ring. I do have a looter ring. I'm not in Draenor. This is the most in Draenor I've ever been. <laughs> it only works in outdoor Draenor. <laughs> All right, mailbox for that stuff, I suppose. Whoops, daisy do. All right, uh, we need to kill Rog and Gorfiend in the swing. I don't think Levitate's gonna get me up there. <sighs> How far Citadel not in Draenor confirmed? I suppose they mean outdoor Draenor, but... It's funny, because I was like so close. For. Are you looking for? Are you looking for snacks? Are you bored? I'm trying to figure out how to get into my water bottle because it's got a lid on it. I think you're out of luck. You got your own water. Alright, what could he give me? There used to be a garrison follower you got from this fight. You used to be able to get this guy, Ariog. That's right. And I will show you my rage, so I'm only at 27% of stuff collected from this so far. This is the and now up to 63. Not too bad. Friend is the dagger cool? Ariok. The balanced machete. Wait. If you say so. <laughs> uh, I need to do Gorfine as well. I'm sure you still can. I'm just I bet I already have it. I mained this character back in back in WAD. You can still get him. Is that who he is? I feel like it's I could I could spend a lot more than just the next, like... Oh, one moment. Sorry, that scared me. Thought she had an old school phone. I changed my ringtone to an old school phone ringtone. I don't know why it scares the daylights out of me. <laughs> I I hate answering my phone. I have um I ex I experience uh phone anxiety along with most other brands of anxiety. And I for some reason I thought changing my ringtone would help. It makes it way worse. I don't know what sound is gonna help. I guess none of them. Because all of them mean that someone is calling me, which is always bad news. It's never good news. <sighs> Actually, that's not true. Right now, it's my grocery delivery is coming. <laughs> it was so loud. I um, I have my phone handy because I'm waiting for my vet to call me with uh, results from my cats from Miss Kira's uh, her her testing that she's she's had done. Mute will help. I need to answer it though. I hate playing phone tag with the vet. <laughs> Make it sound like Moose right here. My phone just starts barking at me. The master. <laughs> yeah, I usually keep it silenced, but sometimes I'm expecting a call that is like really inconvenient to miss, <laughs> and then I'll turn it on. I normally have it screen numbers that I don't know, and just send them straight to voicemail because um. Because usually it's spam, but sometimes, sometimes it's not. One, two, three. Nice. 
having to do callbacks is even worse than picking up the phone. That's the thing. That's the thing. I, I hate answering the phone, but I hate calling other people more. So if it's something that I actually need to deal with and I'm expecting and I know it's coming, I will try to answer my phone because at least then it's over and I don't have to like try to get a hold of somebody and, and like freak myself out about like pressing the button to send the call off, you know? Everything okay? Good I think so. Um, she just had an annual checkup recently and uh, we're just making sure that she's she's doing good. Cause she's getting older. So there's, we want to make sure her organs are, our organs are in good shape. I'm uh, <sighs> Sometimes cats can get different things when they get older. For the whole Visual clarity, the new quest world quest icons on the map. I haven't really been doing any quests or world quests, so I haven't really taken a good look at them. I like the ability to like track rare locations and dungeon locations and stuff a lot. So we're in... which wing are we in now? Bastion of Shadows. Iskar, Sokrathar, and Vilhari. Shocked one of my friends because she called me and I picked it up after it already went to voicemail and she thought it was magic. Oh, I guess we're not going that way. We're going this way. Because I need to do Sokrathar. As though I remember where that is. <laughs> I guess it's going to be the only one that's open. Good old days of Toss the Orb. Someone starts leaving a voicemail. It appears as text on the screen. I like being able to check voicemails with the text transcription so that I don't have to actually listen to somebody somebody's voice because for whatever reason that also freaks me out. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense, but I would rather read a transcription to get an idea of like, oh, hey, is this the dentist confirming an appointment? Is this spam? You know, like just to not even, not even play the thing. <laughs> me too. Yeah. I've, I've always been kind of a nervous person. <laughs> But uh, I think that I use technology to sometimes enable my nervousness in a way that makes it worse in the long run. Yeah, you can get transmog for all armor types on one character. Class locked items, you still must pick up on that class, though. They come for me. The one thing, I, though, that you must never, <laughs> or that I must never trust a voicemail transcription for, is if somebody has left a phone number and they're like, call me back at beep boop beep boop 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 boop. Um, I once tried to call somebody back from the number that was in the voicemail transcription and the transcriber had picked up the number wrong. So I was like trying to get a hold of somebody by calling a wrong number and then I finally realized I was an idiot and I needed to listen to the voicemail and it had, like it was fairly clear when you were actually listening to it what it was supposed to be, but the auto transcribe had not picked it up correctly. So if there's a number I need to call back, I will always, always double check it by listening to it. Speak slowly, assuming people still listen. Uh, does he have any loot? Did I kill him real fast? He's he's saying a lot of things. I think I broke him. <laughs> Maybe they'll mail it to me. There's a chest. There's a chest. Okay. There is a chest. There it is. A hood of unhealthy fixation. <laughs> oh dear. All right, Belhari's next. We're almost done for the day. That's crazy. Today's gone by really fast. Is this? It does sound like Reinhardt, doesn't it? I wouldn't be surprised if it was the same voice actor.
They're not going to open this door until I finish this, are they? Also does Gallywix. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, scaling of more recent raids has gotten kind of wonky since the pre-patch, so I don't know if it's soloable. I don't think I'm going to try until after I get to level 80 and get a little bit of gear in the War Within. Can you believe that's next month? <laughs> We're like a month away from, uh, from launch. Silly. Hasn't quite sunk in for me yet. Vilhari only has- I apparently already have half of the things from her on Elephar, which surprises me greatly. Maybe they shared appearances with something else. Or maybe I came in here once. Missed the dragons already. The Eridar are no strangers to war. Are you so eager to meet your end? One, two. Three new things. There's so much transmog to be had just from scraping all these old LFRs. And they're so fast to do, too. Or at least they feel fast. What do you need? Where was I just now? Oh, they took. Oh, they tell you which bosses. <gasps> you mouse over them and they tell you which bosses are in them. That's amazing. <laughs> May your That's got to be new. I would have remembered that. I think I gotta. I think I gotta. Hang on. <laughs> that we're all good i wonder if i'm um if i've if i've capped on instances here is that if that's why it's yeah i've entered too many instances oh man blizzard's cutting me off all right <laughs> oh man we did uh we did pretty good today let me vendor all this stuff and then we'll take a look at the uh we'll take a look at the numbers see if i can get an, a, a count on how many new pieces i got today So I started Fine, with. Leave. I was done talking to you. Got a calculator here. Sixty-four thousand nine hundred and twenty-four things collected, and we're now up to. We got exactly two hundred new items today. <sighs> you can type the server name. Oh, character classes in a specific server. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can filter your character list by server and by class just by using the search bar. Had to wait for the last two weeks of Vlad LFR. Now in Legion at the end of Nighthold. Can queue for one wing at a time. That's yeah, alright. I was about <laughs> I was about out of time anyway. 200 items. Not too bad for a morning. I don't feel like I used to do used to do numbers like that. This could keep me busy for a long time. <laughs> Man, crafted items are awful for me. I'm missing a ton of them. Like TBC crafted stuff. It's just, it's just absolute. I just don't really have much of it. I wonder if I check. Because now that I don't need to learn it on a specific character, if I just go and I look at like armor and I'm like uncollected, and then we sort by price. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend a hundred gold for a gray. It's gonna drop for me eventually. <laughs> there is some there's some nice things, but 
I need some hazel transplant prices for me to buy any of this. Professions works too. If you find anything exotic, time runner, you get a list of all your time runners. That's all I've noticed so far. Mm. All right. Well, I am wrapping up for today, but I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll have a Friday morning stream. Thank you so much for dropping by today. I appreciate the company and I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.